at the entrance of the rule prison in Beirut, Lebanon, where angry pirates blocked the road and blocked the entrance of the prison because they demand their relatives to be released from the prison. Many of the relatives are staying there without a trial for several years. Yesterday an uprising started in the prison because of the uh, inhumane conditions inside. Burning, they're burning their mattresses, they're burning all clothes, um, all the rubbish and everything has been thrown out of the windows. Um, they're getting rocks, they're breaking uh, the walls and getting rocks and throwing rocks outside and there's a lot of self-injury like their auto-mutilation, they're cutting themselves um, because their demands aren't being met and they're just trying to be heard. It's their way of trying to be heard. They did capture four for policemen inside, but I don't know the situation at the moment. Here we can see the families of the prisoners. Uh, they want uh, the right for their uh, sons and their husbands and their uh, uh, nephews inside the prison. Uh, they want to visit them and they want to see them uh, today, but uh, the authorities uh, can't allow that. Uh, because of many things that happened yesterday and for two days, uh, they set up uh, in the middle of the street and uh, uh, they can't uh, go in both ways. Uh. So their parents want to go in, but because there's an uprising within the prison, they can't go into the prison. So that's why they're all outside demanding that they let them in, or at least let the stuff that they brought for their children to go in. Our prisons are uh, in a very bad state. The prison that uh, recently had a riot is built for 1,000 people. It houses 3,500 people. There you have around 30 to 35 people in a cell. It's overly populated. It's very corrupt. Uh, and of course the abuses that go on there of course are uh, happening all the time. They don't go down to the courts when they've got court hearings or even their court hearings. There's a lot of prisoners that have been in prison for ages and they haven't even been to court yet. They haven't been called to trial. Obviously the biggest problem is the overcrowding which is causing a lot of stress, a lot of problems with the sleep uh, within the prison. Prisoners are not being able to sleep. Anxiety and depression cases are extremely high within the prison. Um, the healthcare is in a horrific uh, uh, state. They used to prescribe benzos to keep everybody calm. <laughs> they actually, the prison health uh, health people did that. There is drugs all over the prison, uh, either coming in uh, or being sold within the prison. Drug use is more in the prison than outside the prison. So if you're putting young people, in fact, who use drugs in prisons and then you're giving them the drugs there, then what are you, what's the message you're conveying? And knowing that the dealer has the best room in prison. It's against all the human rights, basically, of how the prison should be. It's too overcrowded inside.